All right, guys, I wanted to show you my model. As you remember from my previous video, I was struggling with Blender, especially viewport, and I have found what was the issue. Somehow I found that this checkbox depth. This one, this depth setting is making it so that if I click in random place, then the orbiting happens in a weird way. So yeah, now it's now it's great. Look. I'm orbiting around my object, or well, actually around the center. Anyway, so that's my monkey. As you can see, it's a beautiful monkey. I have subdivided hair. Yes, it's a female monkey. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful female monkey. I have subdivided hair one level more, I think. I added a little bit of more smoothness. And uh, yeah, let's see how Cycles will render this in real time on Mac. So this is cycles rendering on the GPU, as we can see. If I switch to CPU, I'm afraid this will be terrible. Oh, it's not. It's low resolution, right? It's very low resolution, I think. Now I'm going to switch to remote desktop, which is just on the same Mac, just in here, same model, exactly same model. Blender running on Windows. This is Windows on my workstation with GeForce. Uh, RTX 4080, I can show you here in Task Manager. It's a Ryzen 9 7900X3D 12 core, and the GPU is NVIDIA, as we can see, RTX 4080 Super. So I'm gonna switch to, uh, you know, ray tracing, right? With Cycles, with GPU compute, it's the GPU compute. And let's see how, how that will go. Remember that this is remote desktop, so there is a bit of a copying from the computer on the other side to here of the pixels, but just look at it. It's real time. <laughs> just, just look how fast those samples go. You know? Oh, it's, it's just done. It's just done. It's just boom, boom. All right, so... I invite you to watch the rest of this presentation where I'm going to be showing you how I uh, edited the previous mesh to get into this mesh. Although I won't show you all the steps because I've done some editing without recording video, but you'll be able to see some of the some of the techniques I use as well. I had this model in lower polygon version, so this is subdivided, I think, twice. I had it in very low level. I got the general features. So the general features would be, um, you know, a, a model that has two arms, two legs, and a body and a neck, right? So that would be general features, and they don't need to be looking good. And then you subdivide, and and you you use this smooth here to make them rounded a little bit more. Uh, and then you have like a model which you can work, and you can start working with it and move things around. And, and then subdivide it again when I was happy with the model I got to, to add more detail. So we can continue this, this recursive you know, process of, you know, you subdivide. So you start with the top level, you, you get the general um, features, then you subdivide, you get second like level features, like these bigger features. Then you subdivide and you get like smaller features and so on. And then you can subdivide, when you subdivide too much, then the only option for you is to just go to sculpting then because then you need to use sculpting to to, to paint because with, with, with this kind of technique here with modeling with moving vertices that would be difficult although blender same as lightwave comes with this feature which is magnetic movement proportional movement so i can select some vertex one or, or several for example i don't know i don't like the shape of this breast or something um and say I'm gonna select, I'm gonna just select this bit here, so the front of the breast, and I would like the rest, like if, if I do like this, if I just say I wanna make it bigger, right? So that's not good, that looks ridiculous, right? If I do that. Also, you see, I, I use the orthographic view, so I selected here that I want orthographic view, because I wanted to select and I wanted to, to make sure that I'm not selecting wrong vertices and so on. But now I would like to use shaded view, rotate it a bit, now I have this three-dimensional gizmo, right? And I can use this gizmo and I achieve same effect, but I see the three-dimensional uh, view of the object. 
But again, this, this, this doesn't look good. So what I can do to achieve better result, I can use this. And then what will happen, it will pull, you see, it will pull the other vertices as well together, right? And the whole idea of working with lower level of subdivision, of non-subdivided model, like with the cube in the beginning, is that, you know, you get the first initial features, like you want an octopus, you want to have, make sure that you have eight arms first, right? Before you start going into detail. Um, but once you get into detail and you forgot about something, you need to add something and, you know, you, you don't like the shape, like maybe forgot is a bad idea, but if you, if you don't like the shape and right now it's subdivided and you need to, um, you need to it, you, it will be, off, this whole area will be affected, right? So you can use this uh, and there is a number of different curves you can, uh, that, 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 of this field. So there is like this square one, there is this smooth one, there is this, this spiky ones and so on. They allow you to, um, if I pick this vertex here, right, and say, cool about Blender is besides the arrows, you have also these flat uh, ma manipulators. So if I drag this one, I'll be drag regardless of the rotation of my viewport, I'll be dragging in the uh, red and blue axis space, you see. Now I'm just dragging one vertex, and you can see that I'm adding a little bit more muscle there as a whole, right? A little bit. So yeah, and I can show you that uh, smooth will be having different effect. So see, when I use smooth, it's more like it's different. It's a lesser, lesser field. Uh, and then if I use a sharp, it's gonna be just it's gonna pull the others, but it's gonna be sharp, right? For example, I would like to do this dent for collarbone using the sharp. Say, oh, here we go, and we have this, this, this here, right? So we want to model this. We can do that. Um, what else do I have on my neck? Let me check. Uh, this V here, right? So there is this V, V, V here, and that's those two. Maybe not sure if this is this one and and this one. They could be. And I, now I want to move them symmetrically. So I want to move them to the right and to the left. So I'm gonna use actually scale, and scale allows you to, you know, move things symmetrically. And now uh, I move this point symmetrically. You see. And uh, you know, I change the shape a bit of the whole of the whole neck. I can I can control that with uh, you know with with what whatever I want to put here. Um, yeah, maybe 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 what I want to do is maybe this is too low. Maybe I want to leave this, right? Maybe this is too low, and maybe I like this smooth one for this case. And um, yeah, I'm gonna just use the red space here because I want to move it up and a little bit back as well. Not sure if this is what I want to do, but may maybe this is what I want to do to lift it a little bit. And, and maybe the same here to lift those, because maybe this is too low. They, they look like, like uh, you know, they need to be a little bit, I need to select this point here. I try to make the topology of this uh, symmetrical, right? So, so the points on the left and right side should be organized in the same fashion. I think I'm gonna just pull this a bit as well. And this. Okay. So now we have some nice breasts and we can pull them. Now they look more like, uh, like bugs. But breasts are like this, you know? Like if you if you don't wear a bra, this is what happens. <laughs> this, is what, <laughs> this is what they are like. <laughs> but I feel like this is too high. Um, I feel like this needs to be lower. Okay, this needs to be lower. I think I'll put it lower. And closer to the body. I really like it. I'm going to save it. I should make a copy of this. Did I make a copy? I should make a copy just in case because you know what if I if I accidentally save it and it would be um, I just give it copy one. I already had a, made a mistake that I saved to I uh, subdivided and I wanted to do some more changes and I couldn't undo to the, you know, before subdivision, but this looks good. This does look good. Now, I'm having this body here. I can put a monkey face on it. 
I could do some feet, some some hands and so on. But um, at this stage, I'm happy with the body for a moment. So important when you model is to follow the anatomy. So uh, if, if you know um, the, the way arms are, the back is, there is this muscle here, this, uh, I don't know, diamond shape muscle, right? It goes like this. And this is why, uh, this is why these lines are like this to reflect that there is a muscle in this shape. And the lines, you know, the way I do it is I select this tool here and I, I do vertices like this, you know, and I cut like this. And this is how you create it. You see, this is how you create this faces. And then I say I want to continue it here. And I want to continue here. Right, and uh, Blender has a that, that looks actually cool. That, that that give extra definition to the shoulders, right? So you have a proper neck now, proper shoulders. But now you may say, ah, oh, there is too many triangles here. We don't like those triangles. Let's get rid of the triangles. So what I'm doing, I'm selecting those edges that I don't like, and I press. I think Command Backspace will be the delete. No Function Backspace, and there is dissolve edges. You see, and the dissolve edges does the trick for me. It has dissolved those edges that I didn't like. And I can just dissolve those as well. And now I don't have those edges. Now, how many faces? One, two, three, four, but this is... Okay, I need to split this as well, because that is non-planar. So that's one, and I need to split this one as well. And now we can see this triangle here. Uh, can be and this one can be unified into you know into into something and it starts looking more interesting now right we can see that there actually is this muscle here there is this neck and that these shoulders here they are much better now pronounced so so we just changed this model and this took us like few clicks and here you go you have this beautiful shoulders now and we can sculpture this shape as long as we want, right? So we can continue and, for example, we can make these shoulders here a little bit even more like this if we want to. Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe like something like this. Not sure. I think I'm going to go like this and like this. Or maybe something like that. What that will give me, I don't know yet. Um, uh, you know, by doing this, I'm creating a model which has better uh, alignment of, of the polygon edges with the way the whole body will be moving when you apply the bones, right? So now because those edges are here, now when this whole body moves because of the bones moving, these edges will remain edges and, you know, that they won't be, it will be nice, right? Feels like this is nice here. I'm going to change it as well like this okay not sure about the bottom uh, here we need to do something but th this looks actually okay this is like a waist waist is like this kind of thing it's flat space on the back this is the back right if I rotate this and the problem is that I'm rotating about this axis here right I, I don't want to rotate around this axis yeah this this model is now looking into the sky and I don't know So that's definitely a nice model I have here, and I'm very proud of myself. I haven't modeled anything for many, many years. I think uh, 20 years. I haven't done anything for 20 years. So, yeah, okay. So that's saved, and um, we can go to layout. Um, we can make it smooth. Let's put this monkey head there. Okay, we have a monkey head. Oh, such a nice monkey, is it not? Um, let's look at some other things uh, what we could do. We have these lights and this model, and uh, I'm tempted to change the colors of those lights to just have a little fun with them. So I'm gonna change color of this light to be kind of like pinkish, reddish, oh, that's cool color. And then I'm gonna 
change this one to be like bluish or something like this or something like that maybe or something like that maybe something like that and now I'm gonna do something like um, material stuff so how about I change it to be metallic if I put one it will be maximum metallic so that's how it looks like when it's metallic it looks like some sort of uh, you know shiny clothes right let's go with 0 0.5 see how that will look like oh that looks pretty cool like a uh, rubber or something like this rubbery now let's make this head as well the same way or i can just say oh haha now we have the same material assigned cool i just discovered how to assign same material and maybe maybe the material needs to have its own color as well so we have lights but maybe the material needs to have some color here we go that's our awesome new colorful picture red in the back blue in the front and the story is that the material is actually blueberry-ish and then the light is teal and red and this is the outcome of this let's render this why not okay we're rendering on gpu on our rtx 4080 super um, it took three seconds to render it can you imagine i mean that's pretty much amazing and this is a beautiful picture of course i need to make some hands and some feet to this little creature and i feel like the the big head the creature is pretty cool i could make some big hands and big feet or maybe small feet and big hands or something like this i don't know i need to think about it all right thank you for watching and yeah i invite you to any new videos and please watch any other videos Bye.